So Wakulla Environmental Institute um, started the oyster aquaculture program in the state of Florida. Um, before we got involved in growing oysters um, in an aquaculture setting in the state of Florida in the water column was not legal. It was after two years of um, oyster aquaculture courses, we had about three million oysters in the water. And I started noticing that for the first time we could see the bottom of Oyster Bay. In the two years previous, the water was so filled with algae that um, we couldn't see the bottom. And then after two years, we noticed that the, the water was very clean and clear. The next week I went to talk to President Murdaugh um, of TCC and said we need to find a way to export our clean, clear water to the rest of the state um, through oysters. This is Tallahassee Community College's first patent. That is beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Got all ages on there. Yep. Got little baby ones and full grown ones. Yep. Babies and grandpas. Yeah. That's all one year's growth. That's, That's right. Amazing. That's, That's amazing. amazing. Just one year. You got four inches on here. One year. Right off the bottom. With the domes, um, we can restore an oyster estuary which will then have a tremendous environmental impact. In the past, we did research with Florida and m University School of the Environment, and what we found is that the nutrient removal from having oyster aquaculture was significant when you're talking about um, what comes from the watershed, the levels of nitrogen, nitrates, nitrites that are removed from the system just by having our oyster aquaculture out in the area. What we established is that using our domes, we would be able to deploy clean water. On the inside, with live oysters, you have about 30, 40 percent coverage. As we look at it right now, you have different sizes. You have mature and you have small baby oysters. You have about three months, um, you're getting the different uh, variation of different sizes, which is great. That means uh, you continuously will have a seed source. So once these mature oysters begin to spawn, and as they get larger, they may die off, then you still have the ones that are much smaller than them be able to grow up mature and be able to become a mature seed, uh, seed source. So this is a great way to, to kind of encapsulate um, why these domes are very important. It's because they continuously provide a viable seed source for oysters. A full project looks like 5,000 oyster domes. Each dome weighs about 400 pounds of high-strength concrete, has 10 holes in them. In the center, there's a cylinder, a PVC pipe, that has holes in the center, and uh, that's where five oysters are put in for spawning purposes. Each uh, 5,000 domes would be placed in a five-acre area. Within two years, you should have about 15 million oysters out there on our 5,000 domes. And we use that number because uh, in our aquaculture, we had about three million and we saw cleanliness of the water in Oyster Bay. Able to see through the bottom, the seagrass is starting to come back. Those are all indicators of a healthy ecosystem. You deploy once and you don't have to continuously have applications uh, year after year after year to deal with the problem that comes from algae uh, and nutrient pollutants coming together and form of those harmful algal blooms. The oysters are a keystone species that once you lose oysters, the whole ecosystem tends to fall apart. Our oyster domes, we know, restore ecosystems. And oysters eat algae, and they also eat nitrogen. It dawned on us, what is red tide but nothing more than a harmful algal bloom? If you take away the algae, aren't you taking away the outbreak of red tide? And if you take away what red tide feeds on, which is nitrogen, Aren't you taking away the ability to um, have red tide flourish? We believe that this is the case. The more oysters you have out there, 
the less likely you're going to have red tide. So we're really excited about that and want to work further with this and to help Florida become red tide free. And we believe these oyster reef domes are the way uh, to achieve that. Oysters filter 50 gallons of water a day. It'll be 15 million oysters on our project sites, which equates to 273 billion gallons of water filtered yearly. This is a great way to keep harmful algal blooms like blue-green algae and red tide in check.